Hello and Assalamualaikum My name is Muhammad Nazli Saibalbana And I am a first year second semester student I'm from Indonesian And I'm excited to share my country with you Indonesia Officially the Republic of Indonesia Is a country in Southeast Asia and Oceania Between the Indian and Pacific Oceans It consists of over 17,000 islands including Sumatra, Java, Sulawesi, and part of Borneo and New Guinea. Indonesia is the world's largest island country and the 14th largest country by area at 1,904, 569 square kilometers, 735,358 square miles, with about 270 million people. Indonesia is the world's fourth most populous country and the most populous Muslim majority country. Java The world's most populous island is home to more than half of the country's population. The Javanese are the largest ethnic group, constituting 40.2% of the population and are particularly dominant. They are predominantly located in the center of eastern part of Java and also sizable number in most provinces. The Sundanin are the next largest group, 15.4%, followed by Batak, Maduris, Betawi, Minangkabau, Bugis, and Malay people. A sense of Indonesian nationhood exists alongside strong regional identities. The country's official language is Indonesian, a variant of Malay based on its prestigious dialect, which had been the archipelago's lingua franca for centuries. It was promoted by nationalists in the 1920s and achieved official status under the name Bahasa Indonesia in 1945. As a result, of centuries long contact with other languages, it is rich in local and foreign influences including Javanese, Sundanese, Minangkabau, Makassarese, Hindustani, Sanskrit, Tamil, Chinese, Arabic, Dutch, Portuguese, and English. Nearly every Indonesia speaks the language due to its widespread use in education, academics, communication, business, politics, and mass media. Most Indonesians also speak at least one of more than 700 local languages often as the first language. Most belong to Austronesian language family, while over 217 Papuan languages are spoken in Eastern Indonesia. Of these, Javanese is the most widely spoken and has co-official status in the special region of Yogyakarta. In 1930, Dutch and other European Eurasians and Derivative people like the Indos number 240,000 or 0.4% of the total population. Historically, they constituted only a tiny fraction of the native population and remain so today. Also, the Dutch language never had a substantial number of speakers or official status despite the Dutch presence for almost 350 years. The small minorities that can speak the language or Dutch-based Creole languages fluented are the aforementioned ethnic, ethnic group and descendant of the Dutch colonizers. This reflected the Dutch colonial empire's primary purpose, which has commercial exchange as opposed to the sovereignty over homogeneous land masses. Today, there is some degree of fluency by either educated members of the oldest generation or legal professionals as specific law codes are still only available in Dutch. Indonesian lies between latitude 11 degrees south and 6 degrees north and the longitude is 95 degrees east and 141 west. It is the world's largest archipelagic country extending 5,120 kilometers or 2,181 mi from east to west. 
and 1760 kilometers or 1094 mi from north to south the country's coordinating ministry for maritime and investment affairs says indonesia has 7504 islands with 6056 registered at the un scattered over both sides of the equator around 6000 of which are inhabited the largest are sumatra java borneo that are shared with brunei and malaysia sulawesi and new guinea shared with papua new guinea indonesia shares land borders with malaysia and borneo and sabatik papua new guinea on the island of new guinea and East Timor on the island of Timor and maritime borders with Singapore, Malaysia, Vietnam and Philippines, Papua and Australia at 4,884 meters or 6,024 feet Puncak Jaya is Indonesian highest peak and Lake Toba in Sumatra is the largest lake with an area of 1,145 uh, kilometers Indonesia's largest rivers are in Kalimantan and New Guinea and include Kapuas, Barito, Membramo, Sepik, and Mahakam. They serve as communicate, communication and transport links between the islands, rivers, Zalman. Nature and culture are prime attraction of Indonesian tourism. The former can boast a unique combination of a tropical climate a vast archipelago and a long stretch of beaches, and the latter complement those with a rich cultural heritage reflecting Indonesian dynamic history and ethnic diversity. Indonesia has a well-preserved natural ecosystem with rainforests that stretch about 57% of Indonesian land to 125 million acres. Forests on Sumatra and Kalimantan are the example of popular destinations, such as the Orangutan Wildlife Reserve. Moreover, Indonesia has one of the world's longest coastlines, measuring 54,716 kilometers, 33,999 mi. The ancient Borobudur and Prambanan temples, as well as Toraja and Bali with their traditional festivals are some of the popular destinations for cultural tourism. Indonesia has nine UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including the Komodo National Park and the Sawah Lunto Coal Mine, and a further 19 in a tentative list that includes Punaken National Park and Raja Ampat Island. Other attractions include the specific point in Indonesia history such as the colonial heritage of the Dutch East Indies in the old town of Jakarta and Semarang and the royal palace of Pagaruyung, Ubud, and Yogyakarta. The cultural history of the Indonesia archipelago spans more than two millennia. Influences from Indian subcontinent, mainland China, the Middle East, Europe, and the Australian people have historically shaped the cultural, linguistic, and religious makeup of the archipelago. As a result, modern day Indonesia has a multicultural, multilingual, and multi ethnic society with a complex cultural mixture that diverges significantly from the original indigenous culture. Indonesia currently holds 11 items of UNESCO's integral cultural heritage including a wayang puppet, kris, batik, pencaksilat, angklung, and the three guns of traditional Balinese dance. Indonesian cuisine is one of the world's most diverse, vibrant, colorful, full of intense flavor. Many regional cuisines exist, often based upon indigenous culture and foreign influences such as Chinese, European, Middle Eastern, and Indian precedents. Rice is the leading staple food and it's served with side dishes of meat and vegetable, spices notably chili. Coconut milk, fish, and chicken are fundamental ingredients. Some popular dishes such as nasi goreng, gado-gado, 
sate and soto are upgraded and considered national dishes. The Ministry of Tourism, however, chose tumpeng as the official national dish in 2014, describing it as binding the diversity of various culinary. Other popular dishes, including rendang, one of the many Padang cuisines along with dengdeng and gulai, another fermented food is onchom, similar in some way to tempeh but use a variety of bases, not only soy, created by different fungi and is prevalent in West Java. Festival Rambu Solo Ceremony This festival is also known as Toraja Funeral Ceremony. Rambu Solo Ceremony is one of the best festivals in Indonesia. Usually between July and September, this is celebrated all over Indonesia by a group of people called Toraja. Tanah Toraja is the land of Toraja, a highland situated in southern Sulawesi. Toraja is a group of minor people who believe in a lot of rituals and ancient rites. This place is known as the land of heavenly kings. These people perform quite fascinating funeral rites to send the spirit of the dead or mark their new journey to the afterworld in order to prevent any kind of mishappening to the deceased family. Second one is Nyepi. This is the day that marks the beginning of the new year according to the Balinese calendar, the second new year. Commemorating every Isawarsa based on the Balinese calendar is most celebrated around on March but might change every year. This observes a day of fasting and meditation so you will find everything is closed in Bali that day which make it one of the most awesome Indonesia festivals in 2020. Many ritual ceremonies and prayer are done on the day preceding it. This is celebrated by all the people of Bali together. The third one is Jember Fashion Carnival. As by the name we call it sense that this festival marks the fashion trend of Indonesia. This festival is known to be the icon of East Java's contemporary culture. On that day, fashion paradise can all be seen as spellbinding as ever, and marking the spectacular modern custom that divine the root of multiple traditions and culture across Indonesia. Around 1,000 participants from all over Indonesia, starting from kindergarten, student to the general public come together, acknowledge this amazing carnival. Drums, flutes, and many instruments power up one of the enchanting music festival. The fourth one is Balim Valley Festival. This festival is celebrated around the month of August. This is celebrated by different group of tribal people and it the most essential harvest festival of Indonesia. There is belief that streams in the heart of these people that war is just a conflict but also a symbol of fertility and prosperity. The festival is about the mock war between the local tribes around 30 to 40 people from 20 different tribes come in their traditional dress and fight against each other. Skaten is one of the traditional festivals in Islamic celebration and this mark as well as acknowledge the day of the birth of our prophet Muhammad wasallam. It is celebrated in the week of his birthday every year. This festival is time for some social stratification in the country and non-Muslims are taught about Islam. Also converted toward the end of celebration, the entire week-long celebration is designed and centered towards attracting non-Muslim to the celebrating by including even much as prayer, music, and any spectacular parade. The final goal of the Skaten ceremony is the conviction of non-Muslims to Islam and this festival is held annually in the Javanese month of Maulud. It is on 21st until 29 October 2020. This is my country, Indonesia. I hope everyone enjoy my video and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.